G'day guys and welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at someone who has over 750,000 subscribers. 750,000 subscribers that watch nearly 300 videos of this guy and his wife abusing their children. And what's worse, YouTube thinks this is family friendly content. So every video is monetized. Now, my good friend Repsian has already looked into this and has a video that I'll link in the description. It's about an hour long. It's well worth the look. But as Mr. Repsian says, you may want to download these videos because this cunt doesn't like bad press and will go after anyone that goes after them just to silence them because he is such a big man and can't take criticism. So there's this channel. Um, I'm going to showcase you here called Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. Oh, before we begin, uh, feel free once this video is up on YouTube after it's done streaming to download this video because there is a chance this video may get removed because this guy, um, from what I've heard, uh, likes to take people's videos down. So just FYI, um, that could happen, but I'm not going to stop if someone tries to shut me down. <laughs> I totally agree. Download this video, guys. Download it. You have full permission to download and mirror it on every social media platform out there. Every platform. Because this cunt, for many years, has been exploiting his children and subjecting them to abuse, mental abuse, and sometimes physical abuse, which is on camera, to get paid by YouTube to sit back and make videos of him abusing his children. Oh yeah, it's a big vicious cycle, but it's all family friendly, according to YouTube. Get away! Now before we sit back and analyze these videos that he makes, let's hear from the wanker himself. I'm getting all kinds of hate right now on all my social medias and on one of my videos called The Invisible Ink Prank. Oh, Daddy05, it wasn't just because of that video. That video was just very obvious. If we dig deep into all of your videos, we will see child abuse over and over and over again. And you, as a sick fucking parent, are sitting back profiting off of exploiting your children on YouTube. You're abusing them mentally and physically. What do you think is going to happen to these children when they get older? You fucking moron. And uh, a lot of people are really pissed off about this video because we're yelling and the kids are crying and everything like that. And apparently it's upsetting a lot of people. This video, I mean, I... I it's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank, bro. Yeah, very easy to program your children. I mean, fuck, look at Cody, the youngest. You have programmed that lad to say your outro to your videos. Uh, you forgive me? Yeah. Are we cool? Mm -hmm. Just don't do that again. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, if you want to see more videos like this one, leave a comment down in the section below. And um, don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and all that other stuff. And don't forget to like, subscribe to the Daddy of Five. You did that awesome. Fucking Jesus, mate. Can't you see the sickness in that? You abuse the child, make them cry, and then not only that, you force the child to say your outro. I mean, what's he gonna do if he doesn't do it? You gonna yell at him? Do the outro. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this one, leave a comment down in the section below. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and all that. No, not Snapchat and all that. No Snapchat. And <laughs> don't forget to <laughs> like and subscribe to Dad Eo5, Mommy Eo5, Dad Eo5 Gaming. Dad Eo5 Gaming. I mean, imagine living like these children every day not knowing if your parents are going to be pulling a prank or not. Or when you're yelled at, if you actually did do something wrong or didn't, you would grow up not knowing whether or not to trust your parents. 
I don't know if I can trust you all. Okay, all right, the prank server, come on, get up. And you would grow up being very angry. And that's evident in a lot of these videos with Cody. Cody is very angry. Hey! Stop it! No, you're not. Get out of the way! Stop it! You don't rush into me! Really, Cody? You shouldn't have served this at all. Very emotional, confused. Even in this video, he doesn't even know what the word traumatized is. Was anybody traumatized? No! Oh. Well, what? I don't even know what that word means, but yes, no, I was. Huh? But hey, the parents don't care. As long as they can put on a good show and a good face and show a happy family in front of the camera, doesn't matter what goes on behind the camera. And dickhead, go on, flag my video. Prove to everybody that I'm right by trying to take my video down. <laughs> Pretty much sums it up. Yeah, well, a lot of people apparently don't get it. A lot of people don't see the humor in it. Hey, fuck it, look at your subscribers. There, of course, are a lot of people that love what you're doing, that love the fact that you traumatize your kids. But there are also a fuckload of us that don't. There's a difference between pranking and then going too far. You know, you can you can play a joke on your kid, but screaming and screaming until they fucking cry. Get your fucking ass up here! What the fuck? I didn't do that! What the hell is that? I didn't do that! You tell me what you did! I swear to God, I didn't do that! Get it. Why did you do that? You ruined the carpet. Get out of here. Mind your business. Why did you do that? Mommy, Dad, I did Oh, do my that. God. Oh, my God. Do you know how much that... I did do that. I swear. And then going even further. I did do that. Hey, you're writing a, you're writing a no. thousand sentences. So you were fucking up here, too? No. Please. You did it, too. Did. You both did it. You both did this! No, stop! You're no. both writing a thousand sentences! And you're not you stop. are gonna lose your allowance stop. and everything! We didn't do this! Yes you did! Stop. Yes you did! We didn't do yes you did! Yes you did! That's where you're crossing the line, you cunt. I'm surprised you haven't got the brain power to see that. Yes. You two did this! No, you know damn well you no. did it! probably looking at all the cash coming in and saying to the kids, kids, you know, we're going to upset you. We're going to upset your Xbox. No, because we don't trust the place because we don't trust the place. Are you kidding? Stop trying to play me. We did it. Hold that fucking camera. Hold it. Hold that stupid camera. God, we want to put an ink call over the fucking place. Invisible ink, it dries and comes out. <laughs> it's already drying up. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Baby can't be sitting down like that. <laughs> Look, it's already coming up. <laughs> I need to return those Uno cards. It'll come up. It's invisible ink, it goes away. But look at all the money mummy and daddy are making. We will buy you new tablets and Xboxes and everything. Just play along with us. We got you both. They were you were innocent bystander. <laughs> yeah. And if anyone comes in and asks, just say, it's all good. It's a prank, bro. <laughs> you just got owned. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very funny. Can I have your attention for a minute, please? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. 
Now you guys remember the Invisible Ink prank? Yeah. Yeah. And this is the part where he gets the kids to explain what a prank is and yada, yada, yada. You can go watch the, the video itself and see the pre-programmed family. Oh, boy. Basically, guys, I mean, this is how we run our house. This is, this is our family. This is our family. Nobody's going to approve of every single person's family. And you can't judge your family. And you can't exploit your family. I wonder how that phrase got into that child's head. Hmm. More evidence of programming right there. And you can't judge your family. Exactly. Exactly. Boom. And they hear worse curse words on music. If you think this is about curse words and swearing at your children, then you're more fucked in the head than I thought. You obviously don't understand what it is you guys are doing. Everyone's offended. Everyone has their opinion and all that stuff. This is not about being offended, you fucking dumb fucking shit. This is about abusing your fucking kids, yelling at them and screaming at them and causing them so fucking mental anguish that they don't know what the fuck's going on. And afterwards going, oh, it's only a prank, bro. Fucking hell, I want to slap your fucking head, you cunt. Guys, if they don't like the channel, what should they do? Get out! Oh, I don't watch your channel. You can be assured of that. I don't fucking watch people abusing their children. All right, let me get this out there too. Now, I do respect that the fact that people would care so much if, if, if children are being abused, that they would go to such a great measure to help those kids. But honestly, guys, you're looking in the wrong place. Oh, yeah. Look, mate, just looking at the family there, you know, the kids seem happy, everything seems to be clean, the kids seem to be looked after and well presented, you know, they seem to be happy, and that's fine, that's great, you know, that's that's not abuse as in going around smacking the kid around in the head, away. or anything like that, but I think you may not understand that some of your videos are going a little bit too far. And it might be wise for you and your wife to just review that last video that people are going on about, which is the ink one, and a few others where you go a little bit too far with the yelling and screaming and you look at the kids' faces, look at the anguish they're going through just for a prank. And also look at your reactions when, you know, you push your kid down. You just... Look at those things and acknowledge that, yeah, okay, maybe we might be going a little bit too far. Let's rein it back a bit. We can still prank our kids and have some fun, but maybe we have gone a little bit too far. That's probably what a lot of us are concerned about at the moment, that you guys aren't acknowledging that you may have gone a bit too far. And honestly, I'm going to be 100% real with you. We have been investigated already for the YouTube channel. Nothing was found. See, look at the smugness and the arrogance on your wife's fucking face. Like, oh, it doesn't matter. They've come and looked at us. But have you really had someone compose a private video going through every single video that you've uploaded and taken out all the parts where the children are being fucking abused, putting that all together and then sending that off as one video? Have you ever had someone do that? No? Well... Just be careful. Just be careful. Because it's not going to take that much time to go through 300 videos and find as much evidence as needed to prove that you are putting your kids through psychological damage. So fucking listen to the viewers and rein it back a bit, cunt. Because there's nothing to find. No. So you're wasting your time. Case and our is time. dropped. You know what? Based on your arrogance, your wife's arrogance right there, I suggest someone do exactly that. Go through every single video and cut and paste one video together of all parts and send it off to Child Protective Services and see how arrogant your wife is when they show up again with the evidence and the footage. Now, I don't want your kids taken away from you. I want the kids to be safe and not harassed in the way that you're going overboard. You can have a prank, but try to remember that there is a line that you just don't cross. And your kids are human too. 
they're going to be growing up. Like we see on video, Cody doesn't even know if he trusts you or not, if it's going to be a prank or not. I don't know if I can trust you all. Okay, all right, the prank's over. Come on, get up. So these are the things you got to keep in mind because you are the fucking parent. And embarrassing our children. Yes. Oh, fuck off, cunt. If anything, you cunts are the one that are embarrassing your own children. Fucking blame that on your viewers, you fuckwit. I mean, you're causing more harm than good. You, I mean, you're looking in the wrong place for child abusers. You really are. I mean, this is a YouTube channel. I mean, really? Yeah, we mean really. Because YouTube channels can be abusive. And you look at how you're fucking treating your children. I mean, I've only put a few clips at the beginning of my fucking video, and if you think that you're not abusing your children, you're fucked in the head. If you've missed it, rewind my video and watch it again, you fuckwit. You're making me fucking angry now. Look, other people do the same thing, but you don't go to their channel yeah, and do no. the same thing. Yeah, didn't Roman Atwood do a prank where he... Look at how you've brainwashed your children. How do you know what we do? How do you know that we're not out there looking around for fucking child abusers? How do you fucking know that we don't go and report other channels? You don't. So don't fucking play that card. Just because we're pranking the kids, we're terrible. No, it's not just because you're pranking the kids. It's how far you go with your fucking pranks. How far you continuously push it and push it to make the kids cry. And over and over again, they're fucking not sure if this is going to be a prank or if they actually did something wrong. Look at your own footage. If you both, as parents, cannot see that you are crossing the line, then you both do not deserve to be parents. The, the kids prank us. We just can't always post the pranks they do because they don't record it good enough. Oh, no one gives a flying fuck if the kids prank you, you fuckwit. Use your fucking head. Honestly, is that what you think this is? Are you that fucking demented and stupid in the head that you can't figure out what people are angry at? Honestly, oh my God. I... You can't be this stupid. It's just our family. We're just having a good time. Yes, the kids get a little upset sometimes when they cry and stuff like that. And they always, always say I mean, whether or not the video they're video. okay with the video being posted. That's totally irrelevant to the point. No one gives a fuck if your kids are giving you permission to post or not. I mean, the fact that there is shit that you won't post after seeing what you have posted that's fucking frightening. Exactly. Exactly. Now listen here. Stop. If you don't want something in a video, what do you do? Now this to me sounds like conditioning, programming. Hey kids, these are the things I'm going to ask through this video. These are your replies. Yeah, that's what it comes across as. Oh yes, little Timmy, you can talk about your camping video. I, Dad said, do you want that video up? And I said, yeah, it'll get a lot of views. And what happened? It got a lot of views. Exactly. Yeah, it got a lot of views. Exactly. There has actually been all kinds of things that we recorded and the kids said, no, I don't like that, it's embarrassing. And we take it down. There's been stuff that were, was recorded on me that I said, no. I don't like that. We're not going to post. There's been stuff on on my wife that she didn't like and we didn't post. We got off. I mean. Mate, none of that is fucking relevant. What we're talking about is what you have posted. We're all happy here. The kids have everything they need. They have Xbox. They got stuff they don't even need. They got Jordans. They got uh, high definition TVs. Yeah, well, of course they've got all this stuff. I mean, look at the money you're raking in from exploiting your kids by doing pranks. Now, that's fine. I've got no issue with you doing that and the kids, as long as they're on board with it. But don't go too far. This is what I think you're missing. I don't think you're bad people. I just think you've been doing this for a couple of years now and you've pushed it and pushed it and not realized that you've gone over the line. So I would only suggest that you look back at your last few videos and see how the kids are reacting to what you're doing. Just open your mind, okay? You, you, when you're in the moment and you're doing the prank, you may not see what you can see afterwards when you review the video. So all we are asking is you look 
take a look back at what you've done and see where you're stepping over the line and how that could be traumatizing your children. So it's fine to do your pranks, just know where the line is. That's what a lot of us are asking you to do. Because deep down, I don't think either of you are bad people. And I don't think you're intentionally going out of your way to do bad things to your children. But you may be stepping over that line because you're so used to doing those pranks. You understand what I'm saying here? And most of the videos that you might seem are humiliating on us, they're our choice if we upload it. So the videos that are you seem are humiliated, we already said post it because we love doing YouTube and we love giving you guys videos. Oh, it's a good thing you remembered his lines. After the invisible ink prank where we all laughing and joking around. Yeah. Yes. Oh shit, I think Cody forgot his lines. After the invisible ink prank where we all laughing and joking around. Yeah. Yes. Cody and it was funny. Outro. And then, and then Cody did the same invisible ink prank on Pop. And who gives a fuck? Seriously. That invisible ink prank that was done on Pop, which nobody's talking about. Um, are you that fucking dumb? Why do you think people aren't talking about an invisible ink prank done by a little Cody on an elderly man versus two parents yelling and screaming at a young child. Come on, are you fucking that stupid? That was actually made after the, the invisible ink prank because I told you all those were pre-recorded videos for Disney. For Disney? Does Disney know? that they are supporting people that abuse their children like this on YouTube? Maybe someone should let them know. I mean, you know what happened to PewDiePie. That was recorded before the prank on Pop. The prank on Pop was recorded after all that stuff. That's not the fucking issue. Honestly, you fucking dumb cunt. So, I mean, obviously he wasn't too upset if he's going and doing the same prank to Pop, right? I didn't do that! You tell me what you did! <laughs> Why did you do that? You ruined the carpet. Get out of here. Mind your business. Why did you do that? Mommy, Dad, I did Oh, do my that. God. So, I mean, obviously he wasn't too upset if... I didn't do that. I swear. If he's going and doing the same prank to Pop, right? Psst. Cody. Cody. You're missing your cue. Cody, wake up. You're not focusing. Right? Make Did you just hear anything I said? Yeah. Yeah. What I say? Words. <laughs> Without YouTube. Without YouTube. See how our family is, bunch of goofballs. See? Oh, nice recovery, mate. Is anybody being abused? Oh, what a stupid fucking question to ask a child. Like, can you imagine someone is abusing a child and you're five years old and your abuser says, Am I abusing you? And they've got a video camera on you. What the fuck do you think that you're going to say? Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, um, he's abusing me. Fucking honestly. And if the child at that age is going to fucking comprehend what abuse is. Now, what all sparked this stuff right now is some asshole on Reddit had no material to blog about. He had nothing to talk about. So what they do is they go on YouTube, they find people to talk shit about. And notice it was just my one video. Dead. The, wait a minute. Out of a, a, a very innocent video. I didn't do that! You tell me what you did! I swear to God, I didn't do that! Cody! I didn't call the way out of your carpet! I didn't do that! I don't have anything to call her when you Why did you do that? So they take that video, they blow it all out of proportion. You ruined the carpet! Get out of here! Mind I your business! I didn't do that! Mommy, Dad, I didn't do that! Oh my God! It. And all their hating fans come to my channel talking all kinds of shit about me and my family. Mate, I don't even look at Reddit. I found you through other sources. And I've been looking at your channel for a while now and thinking, what is the best way to address this? Then a few months later, this blows up. And I'm like, yeah, it's probably right to address it now. Get away! So there's been more than one video. Can, I don't know if I can trust you all. Can't, all right, the prank server, come on, get up. 
So don't sit there and try and act like it's just one fucking video. They don't know nothing about my channel. They haven't been watching it from the start. Mate, do you really want me to go through every single fucking video you've made? Because I fucking will. Record this. Go get the homework sheet. Go get it. I got a one and a two. Let me see it. I got a scribbled out. Why is it scribbled out? You was playing games on the, on the computer instead of doing homework? Math. Instead of doing classwork, you were playing games? Mm -hmm. Really? Really? You want to play games? You want to play some games? No. Alright, stay here. You want to play games? You want to play games, Cody? No. Want to play games? <laughs> Let's play games, Cody! Let's play games! <laughs> you want to play games? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Do you? We're going to play! Play that! No! Play that game! No. It works fine! No, it doesn't! <laughs> no. Imagine growing up and having been tormented like this under the guise of pranks. Honestly, can you not see what you're doing? This is only like one of the first videos you've made. Do you want me to go through every fucking video? Because I will, cunt. Ask my followers, I fucking well will. Go! You got it, bro. Go! <laughs> Whoa. How are you, you going to play this? This is your like Xbox. You. This one's yours. You tricked me. You're, I don't like that you. That was the broken Xbox. I don't like you. This is yours. I don't care. You I, want to break this one? I don't forgive you. I don't forgive you for what you did. Oh, that my hurt God. my feelings. Oh, my God. And to make everything better, let's just tickle the child and make him laugh. Ha, ha, ha. All is well. You fucking twit. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! We don't really pay haters any mind. We don't care if they get hate. That's why we've never made a video like this before. Haters, trolls, you can ignore them, that's fine. But who you should not ignore are the people that are concerned. No! We're packing your stuff! Hi! No! Stop it! Put me up for adoption. About child abuse. Stop that. What is this? Can you stop? Stop! And what you are doing mentally to the children. That's who you should be listening to. They're not haters. But I really, I just wanted to get something out there for you guys because I want to defend my kids. Yeah. I want to defend my kids. Stop. Stop. Do you want me to use stop. my No. Can you stop? No! What is your deal? I hope, I hope your face falls off your ugly head! Why? Because I hate you! Why? Oh. Why? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to bite your fingers off! Why? Get out, now. Go. Can you stop? Can you stop? No. No. Stop. Go. Because I want to defend my kids. So it doesn't matter how far back we go. It seems you like stepping over the line or don't even realize that there is a fucking line. Your child wouldn't be doing that if you didn't instigate it. It's about time you start thinking about how far you need to push shit. It's up to you, cunt. Suit yourself.
Strength.